Hi everybody and welcome back to a brand new vlog. Happy 2022 by the way everybody. I am so excited for this year. I just want to wish everybody happy 2022 and I think this year is going to be incredible. I want to do a little tribute to Betty White, our golden girl, a legend, an icon, and a fierce woman with a keen sense of comedy. So um, my condolences to her family. So with that tribute, let's get into our video. Um, who is loving 2022? By the way, you guys, I'm, while I'm doing this, I'm starving and I ordered a salad, but I'm gonna do a PR salad, a Persian cucumber salad, as my other salad comes, because this woman has been working out so much, I am hungry 24 seven, right Nick? All the time. And I'm so excited, because I've been doing gym time, everything time. All right, guys, so I had one here. Let me wash all of these. So I just wanna say, I'm really, I woke up the first day of this new year really happy. I spent New Year's Eve with my daughters and my boyfriend. We all went to Nobu. It was really nice. And really, that's the night that I realized, wow. Like, I, something in me was like, I'm so happy tonight. I'm with my girls. Like, I'm so proud of them. And Blair ended up going to a party, like, after dinner. Um, Nicolette ended up going, spending some time with friends. And then at the end, it was just my boyfriend and I left. We actually ran into Yuri, my stylist, who was there with her daughters. It was such a memorable night. But I woke up January 1st. And I woke up with the biggest, oh my God. I was like, what kind of music is Blair playing? And it's like the cops. I was like, okay. It's a fire like, engine. It's though. a fire engine. I'm like, I oh, there you go. It's a fire engine. I'm like, I hope everyone's okay. Anyway, so I feel really relieved and I feel the happiest I've ever felt in my life. I legit woke up January 1st, just rose up and I was like, wow. Like I did it. I raised my girls. I've raised two very, independent, successful, young females who I'm really, really, really proud of. They have so many other projects that they're working on other than YouTube right now that I can't wait for them to come to fruition and I'm beyond proud of them. And as I was sitting there at dinner at Nobu with them and everyone's walking by, they're like, wow, like look how much they've grown. Like they're, they're taller than I am pretty much. And look at them. Like Nina, you're bringing them here ever since they were like little, like my girls and I have been to like, I don't know, I just raised them around our hood the whole time. So everywhere we go, we go to Nobu, we go to Craig. Actually, we're at Craig's the other night. Everybody came over like, what happened to the little girls you used to bring in here? They're not taller than you. So, um... Mind you all, it's January 2nd. January 1st, Nina called me talking about them for an hour. And then this morning, she tried to tell me everything she told me on January 1st again. <laughs> and I've never just seen you, like, so... Like, proud yeah well it's 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 been a moment because you know as you guys have, well I've always you have been, to tell them what you told me what did i tell you about um the whole credit card situation and blair leaving after dinner was done because okay. i was a proud i'm not their dad obviously okay, okay so <laughs> i was okay so this is what happened it's like you know blair just turned four she's 14 and a half and she's in high school she's really coming out of that shell of like being with mom versus be, and being with sister versus like literally embarking on her own journey and going to like to do something. I like, I totally, I got so excited. I totally forgot about my salad. And I'm totally embarking on her own journey and going out with friends. So we were at dinner in Nobu. Like I've always told her like, I'll send you an Uber Lux wherever you want to go, whatever you want to do. She's like, no, I thought I'd have you drive me, which I understand. You know, I was in that stage with my parents for a long time too. However, all of a sudden we're at Nobu. She ordered her food early because she was starving. She had dessert while we were doing our main meal. Isn't because that... everyone knows her boyfriend takes forever to order food. So yes, she, she takes forever to order food. Wait. He likes his martini first and he orders like 50 million rounds of foods. And Blair's like, I gotta get to the point, I gotta eat. Which to each their own, I'm really happy for that. And then Nicholas joined us a little bit later. So she's on dessert all of a sudden. She's like, mommy, I gotta go. I'm like, where are you going? She's going to a New Year's Eve party. I was like, was so excited. I was like, go to your party and you're going to come home later. Ah! And by the way, you guys, for safety reasons, my boyfriend has private drivers who he sends out. So, so we got one of our private drivers to come and pick her up. I walked her out to this black SUV. She got in. She, I love you, mommy. Happy New Year's Eve. I was like, Happy New Year's Eve. And she went to her party. But you didn't tell her the full story. Oh, no, I'm going to tell the full story. Okay, you so have what to. was so excited? Because the Nicolette's there, and I was like, You have your key and your gate opener. She's like, No, I brought the gate opener. No, I brought two gate openers because I knew she was going to deviate for the night. I thought she was going to be with the sister. I didn't realize this. And I, she didn't bring her keys. I said, and then that's when Nicholas starts yelling at her, you have to be prepared to do anything at any time. You need your keys, you need your gate opener, you need credit cards, you need cash. And so she asked me for cash. So uh, my, between my boyfriend and we cash. need cash. 
And then, not gas. I think you said. No, gas. I said cash, cash, Beautiful. cash, not gas. And then, um, then I was like, "Here's a credit card." She's like, "No, no, no! I'm just going to a party." Nicholas, like, no way! You already forgot your key. You only have a gate opener. You're not. You're taking cash, but you're not taking a credit card. What if you get kidnapped? You, the, the, the guy wants like a, a soda out of the vending machine. What are you gonna say to your kidnapper at the time? And that's when I was like, "Wow, I've taught them right." I've taught them if you get kidnapped techniques, don't let anybody spike like you, even your water. You know what I mean? Watch your surroundings. If you end up in the trunk of a car, make sure you like you push out the little light. I've been training them as a single mother all this time about all the positives in life and the negatives. And Nicola being the older has gotten all of it in now that she lives on her own. She's like, no, you never go anywhere with that cash, get open her keys, blah, 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 blah. And she's teaching Blair, she's like, oh my God, you're right. I should listen to you. And so she was, and then right, so right then, yeah, they say when she wouldn't get the credit. Oh yeah. So it's like, I was like, oh my God, Nicolette's a mini Nina teaching Blair the mini, mini Nicolette. And I raised them on my own, Nick. Does it feel good? Like I feel good. I, <laughs> I don't know feels why. It <laughs> so good. So you guys also like Blair asked me for some cash and I only had $20 and I gave her 20. I said, I don't have anything more. And that's when she turned to my boyfriend. She's like, I need some cash, please. I was like, Oh, you said his name. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. So, yeah, okay, so Blair like turns to my boyfriend and said, Bung, big, 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 I need some cash, please. And I was so proud. <laughs> no, you know what it is? It's because like I raised a very directive girl. She's not shy. Neither one of them are shy. They're assertive. They walk into the, the restaurants with the most celebrities in it, walk with their head held up high, like, I own this place as they should without being rude or unkind to people. You know what I mean? I will say that about your kids. They're not unkind and they are not rude. Exactly. Ex thank you so much, Nick. You're welcome. These two girls walked into uh, Nobu, head held up high, ordered what they wanted, you know, where Blair immediately like was like, I need a private driver. I'm going to my party. I need cash, blah, blah, blah. Nicolette was like, you need a credit card too. You need this, you need that. You gotta be ready. Mommy always taught us to be ready for every occasion. And I'm seeing me, and I used to yell at Nicolette, <laughs> and then Nicolette's out yelling at Blair, and then Blair's yelling at me. Why did you cheat me? I'm like, I was, but you never listened to me. But it was like three independent women sitting at that table, but yet these independent women are independent. So I learned, I've taught my girls to have the best of both worlds. A, be independent, assertive, be your own woman. But B, if a gentleman wants to take care of you, let him. Let them be kind, let them take care of you, let them do this. You see? So I really realized that they have both, they, I've instilled in them how to have the best of both worlds. You see? You're so happy. And I'm for that. This is like I'm the so ha happy. like the last few months is like the happiest you've been. Ever been. But also what, what Especially occurred. Especially No, it's true. But what occurred over New Year's and I realized like Nicolette has her life together in New York. Blair's about to start getting her life together. All the weight, all the guilt, everything that I fought for. Every time I went in my room crying my eyes out over a glass of wine, like, did I mess up again? What did I do wrong? Because I always blame myself for anything that didn't go right. And it happens in life, things don't always go right, especially when you're raising a kid. It's literally the hardest job in the world. But that night at Nobu, they made me realize that I did it right. I did it. I raised them. I, am a, I was a good mother. I am a good mother. And I'm going to be the best mother going forward. And for me, kudos to me, like yay, yay, yay to me. I'm really proud of that. And I feel just beyond ecstatic for it. That's gonna be the best year and going forward is gonna be even better. And I just realized that this is my tail end of raising them. And I have two daughters who are best friends. They will do anything for each other and everything. They will always put each other up on the pedestal. And they're, I could not be happier to have my daughter's best friends. And for that, I also, I have to say I did it. When they were fighting when they were younger, very young, I gave them an ultimatum. Like this is it, it's a family of three, nobody else. I cannot have to, I don't have the time for you guys to fight. So you gotta figure it out. Love it up, figure it out and do what you can to. But this is your best friend, this is your best friend and I'm your other best friend. And this is us, it's either the three of us together in this world and we. this is the three of us in this world. And if any of the three factors is deviating and fighting, we're not gonna make it. And they never fought ever since. They've had little argument, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But not like cat fight, like I hate you, don't talk to me. It's never like that. It's never, ever has been like that. If I look at one of them the wrong way, trust me, they will make sure I know. And I did that on purpose. I'd rather have them be like this and maybe the mama bear. So 
for all you pro all you for all you parents out there, grandparents, any anybody raising a child, an adopted child, your own biological child, um, your niece, nephew, whatever it may be, whoever it may be, um, you're doing great. Keep at it, because one day before you know it, literally they will surprise you like that, and you realize, wow, I did it. We did it actually, the three of us did it. Anyways, I'm just proud, I'm happy. Thank you for all you who supported my mothering style, who really were always there to encourage me on social media, on YouTube, and everything. And I appreciate you guys, and I wanna send the same appreciation back to all of you. With that said, happy 2022. I love you guys so much. Keep mothering, keep fathering, keep grandparenting, keep uncle anting it, keep doing everything. It'll eventually come to fruition and you'll have your day like me too. Mwah.